Hey guys, Tyler here. Today I'm doing a demo of 2D and Top D. It's a game that's both 2D and 3D at the same time. You'll see what I mean shortly. It is a puzzle platformer where the idea is you control two different characters in two different dimensions and they help each other get through a platforming level. It's a bit of a puzzle, figure it out. And it, it looks really interesting. I've never seen a game like it before, so I thought it'd be fun to try out. Plus, it's a free demo. You can get it yourself on Steam. Seems like a lot of fun. All right, so this is 2D. Enter to jump, oh, but W works as well. Longer you hold enter, the higher you jump. Same with W. All right, a little platforming basic skills right now. Please do not feed the pig. Can I Goomba it? Son of a gun. All right, I cannot Goomba it. Over we go. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too. A little, it was a little goal under my face. Not sure if I was blocking it. Explaining the bag story. Basically, there's a god, but he's not good at making universes. So, there's a bit of a glitch in the simulation. And then there's someone who charts down all of their mistakes. For me, that's Twitch chat. And we are now about to be introduced to Top D. Oh, this is actually just something totally different. So this is the 3D part. So it seems like we're only doing one at a time. Put boxes inside holes to create bridges. And you can pick up and drop boxes, I see. Very well. I was like, yeah, a block pushing game. I'm pretty good at those, but uh... You pick them up and drop them. That works too. And you can push boxes. That's what I'm talking about. Supreme gaming right here. I see. I have to hit all of them. All right. Oh, the dude moves on his own. And here they live in harmony. Hello. Hello. The goal of the game is to get them both into this portal. Here, I'll have you walk in first. And now you walk in. Uh, once again, we have to get keys, but now the key is only attainable if you are 2D, but 2D cannot make it because it doesn't have platforms to jump on, so it's simple. We push boxes into plates. I was wondering when there was going to be a level like this. All right, here we go. Simple enough platforming. There's no threat of death, at least. Very forgiving level. Oh, I see. So we have to get... Put that down. We have to get top D here first, then swamp, and then jump in. Funny. We gotta get to that key somehow. Oh, well, so those are breakable blocks. So hold on, let's get you over here. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Watch this. We fall, we grab the key, we swap. And now that we swap, we can place a box here to save ourselves. That works. I jump, swap. Now that I'm in the air, I can move the box up. And then I can get the hell out of here. Then I can get the hell out of here. Okay. As you can see, they're working together. I love the concept of this game. That's why I played it. I think it's a really interesting concept. And it seems like we have to do a lot more of that. Let's place the box here. We can make that, right? Son of a gun. Fine. We can just move this a bit down, like here. It's so close. Alright, we've made it here. So what I want to do is jump and pause. Now you pick this up, put that down. I mean, it's it's simple enough, really. And we, oh, he's got a special animation for being at the edge of a block. How cute. All right, we've got the key. I see. So we need a box to help 2D make it to the key up there. And there's only one box. So you would think like, oh, you gotta take it across the gap, but no, there's these breakable blocks right here. So it's not too bad, you just get 2D across. Get them to break those, and then have Top D help out. We're gonna jump and swamp. Love it. Oh, and then we gotta do this again. <laughs> Great. We're gonna hang out there real quick, and I'm gonna have Top D make it here, then 2D just jump in. Now, what the hell is that? Is that a down arrow in the top left? I am not entirely sure what the down arrow is meant to do. Maybe it's a block that can only go in that direction. I see! 
it falls in the mode of um, 2D. So hopefully top D can still pick this up. But it seems like it is going to be a block that falls. I thought there was going to be like some greater purpose for this block besides breaking the things. But no, I guess uh, it just had to break the things. Now I'm sure it's a more complicated use of the block. So how it's going to go, we're going to go to top D here. And we're going to bring the down block to just kind of be... I mean, here's probably fine. And that will fall right away. That'll just be a nice little platform here. Oh, I jumped a little too slow. All right, do it again. Here we go again. Can I platform this time? That works too. So now, I mean, it's pretty simple. We can just go around. This definitely feels more like a platforming test than puzzling test. But I mean, again, it's, it's a demo. It's one of the first few levels. It's a test of the mechanics. I probably shouldn't depress that. What we need to do, we need to time the switching of the worlds at the right time so Top D can make it across. Like that. I think I'm ready to do it again. That's good enough for me. And one more time. You know what? You actually guys could see all that. My face cam wasn't blocking it. Too badly. Alright, it's perfect. We're not blocking anything in the game. Seems like just a little platforming test. I'm actually not sure what the purpose of Top D is here. Oh! Oh! They all chase after you. That's funny. So I'll get you here. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to have them work together just yet. I'll just have them hang out up here and I'll just kind of beat them to the punch. I wasn't sure if there's something more sophisticated to do. I guess it is just that simple. You wouldn't believe it, but this spot is actually blocking things. All right, I give up. We're going into this game raw. No face cam, no anything. Just, we're gonna play the game. Can I send these dudes into spikes? Oh God. Nope, they are in, immune to spikes. Here, let me get them all down here and then have them fall. If you're not active, they won't hurt you, it seems. Because what I wanted to do was get you up here and then swap and then run them all the way back here. Ah, oh, son of a gun. I didn't get them all. There we go. Come up here. Did I lose one? I swear there used to be four. Oh, wait. You can kill them with the spikes. Oh, well, how about that? I must have missed Saw. Well, anyways, it seems pretty simple now. Alright, I'm glad that you have some counters to them and they're not just some permanent nuisance. Being able to get rid of them is excellent. There's demon doors that only get unlocked via a button. I mean, why don't I just get the... Yeah, the pig can collect the key and we can just wipe them out. The pig has to get the other one! I didn't even notice that. I'm like, there's some way we can get in. No. Alright, but we get the idea, right? You just kind of let it fall down and then you lead them down this path. If you can help it, it's nice if they get the key too. They did get the first key. Oh, and now I don't care what the pig does. You can just chill there forever. What are we doing? <laughs> what on earth is going on? All right. I see Top D up here. There's a water mechanic that goes away it, when you're on Top D, but in 2D, it exists here. So do we drown or do we swim? We swim. And the music even kind of goes a little bit uh, muted when you're swimming. Sweet. I want to see what happens if I put this over here. Isn't that interesting? We've clogged the drain, so now that means we can swim over. Him, him. We jumped out of the water before, thank you. <laughs> okay, we can't make it that high. How sweet. So two drains. And now there's fire, fire and water, how excellent. Um, how do I begin? Uh, the fire affects top D as well. What's going on with this block? What is this block? Is this pushable? Oh my god, this is a pushable block. The whole time I definitely thought this was just something static. Like, I don't know, a decoration basically. Oh, okay, thank you for pushing it one farther. I didn't ask you to do that. I just wanted you to block the fire. You know, to continue the role of how, you know what I mean, we're trying to block the fire. Here's what I'm going to do, actually. And maybe it's not too bad. We can just block this drain. Go back to this mode. Because now at least... 
2D can make it down here. And then we can kind of come up and then swap. And then all we need to do is use top D to help them rescue. Help rescue them, you know what I mean. Hopefully that catches them. Very nice. And then up you go. And then all we need is for top D to rescue the final key and we're good. Sweet. Oh, that is a too wide gap. Now I really wish I could retrieve that other block. I think my problem was that I used top D to get this key when I really had to use 2D to get it. So then we just use the box to block the other drain. And now we should be able to get here and back. And we have two boxes to be able to bridge the gap. So let's do that. Hell yeah. Oh no. Wait, no, we should make it. Let's go. I was worried we would need a box to help. Uh, oh, 2D, get up. Thankfully, we don't. Boss battle? I was gonna fight you, but it's the end of the demo. Instead, I'm gonna ask you to wish list the game on Steam. Well, that's one cliffhanger to leave it on. Maybe we'll still fight it. Probably not, though. They're getting very meta. Um, it's a cool game for sure. I'm excited to see the development. And you hopefully are reading the info for those who are interested. Cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep an eye out for whenever it comes out, if it comes out. And I'll see you guys all in the next game demo. Peace.